Hello and welcome. This video is going to be mainly about the Spyderco 2014 product guide. It's the successor to the 2013 product guide which just fueled my passion for knives over 2013 and was responsible for me buying a lot of uh, Spydercos including some of the birds and the sprint runs and so on and uh, in a lot of ways I really like this uh, book over the, the new one but it's you're talking decimal points here I really like the 2014 guide uh, if you haven't already got one go out and, and get one a subscriber of mine I've forgotten his name but he reminded me that they have their new guides out so I went at spiderco.com ordered one you can tell by the accent I'm British live in the UK so uh, it's not a problem for Spyderco to send you one and I believe that they have a, a UK distribution centre for their catalogues now which is excellent uh, they're free um, and I think they're just a bit of eye candy and also it gives you a bit of inspiration on what kind of knives are coming up and what, what you uh, just gives you ideas of what, what you want to get over this year uh, if you order it make sure you get the the op focus one as well it's got uh, most of the knives in there as well but with a bit of a tactical I hate to use the word uh, kind of twist and you also get the 2014 retail price guide and this is important even though it's in the the dollars it's important because uh, it says new next to all the new knives so it's a really good quick reference to, to find out which knives are new that are coming out over the course of the year so this guide uh, I'm gonna go through page by page almost so sit back get a coffee get a cup of tea whatever you want to do and uh, I'm gonna go through it page by page and I've left little markers uh, to s highlight some points that I'm gonna raise so they start off with the talking about clippets which is uh, registered trademark now. They've got this new knife called the Tusk. Uh, I mean, if you're a mariner, I suppose, then that's going to be quite useful to you. Um, uh, then they're talking about the police models, the Police 3. They haven't really changed it. Uh, definitely want to pick one up at some point. Then they've got the Harpy down there. The Endurers. Uh, they haven't changed at all, they haven't brought out any new colours, uh, they've still got it in the ZDP 189, but it remains unchanged. I think uh, Spyderco Sal, I know what you're doing, 2015, there's a 5 there, Endura 5, I know you guys are, are sorting that out, and I, I know that your, your bird knives were kind of the blueprint or basis of your, your new Endurers and your Delicas. I may be completely wrong, that's all rumour and speculation, it might come out in 2016, but uh, as a Spyderco fan, uh, of course that is my my uh, my, my uh, expectation. Delica Four, nothing's really changed. No new models, same same colours. So so Spyderco giving you an extra another year to kind of collect them all. Uh, I still really like the titanium and the Damascus steel uh, Delica. It's a shame that they didn't uh, have the the sprint runs of both of them here but I think they were more for 2013. You've got the wonderful civilian there, really nice knife. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't have the Emerson Way feature, um, but it is G10, so they may not be looking at quick deployment as much. They've got the rescue knives, quite funky looking, and I really like the, the assist knives because they've got the, uh, the, the hood and the partially serrated. Dragonflies, they haven't changed at all. Uh, they still come with, uh, with, with the colours there and also with the, the H1 steel. They've got the tattoo version. They've got the cricket. There's a new cricket, uh, one with a Nishijin blue glass fibre. I hope I pronounced that right. And the tattoo version. Military, they still haven't changed anything with that. I'm um, really looking forward to Military 2 whenever that comes out. Uh, they've got the titanium and the fluted one. Paramilitary 2, haven't changed anything there either. Still the same, uh, still excellent, uh, still the best folding uh, locking knife for the money and and uh, ergonomics and weight and everything. You can't beat that really. I missed the part where I 
throw the Delica 4 out there, but there we go. Uh, I feel feel better now. Anyway, the native. Uh, they've got the native in pink colour. And the native 5. I think that's quite... It's a very good knife for its money because it's got the S30V blade steel and it's and it's the FRN um, and it's it's just a very good kind of starting spider spider cone knife for for the money. Um, you've got the Starmate Centerfonte and the Jimbo two. Nothing's really changed. You've got the stretch. I do like the stretch. Uh, and there's one in ZDP one eight nine. Got the Pical and the Pical Trainer, which over here the trainer is. Almost the same price as the, as the normal knife, which is a bit upsetting. But anyway, got the Manix 2, hasn't really changed at all, and the uh, lightweight blue Manix 2. So then you've got the Manix 2 XL, uh, you've got it in the normal and then the black DLC coating. Got the Cali 3 and the Cali 3.5, both in the CDP 189, the carbon fiber. Uh, it's interesting to note there that they don't have the Cali 3 just normally. So maybe they'll phase that out. But they do have the Cali 3.5 in the, the G10, but not the, the 3. I think they used to have it in the 3. Now I've left this mark here because this is a uh, quite important page. So you've got your sages. Now what they've done is they've say, if they've changed the sage uh, 3. Uh, what do you get if you cross this sage 1 with a sage 3? Well you get uh, a carbon fiber uh, bolt action lock uh, stage three so they've done away with the the blue so if you haven't already got one of them go out and get one I highly recommend it uh, so it's got the bolt action but it's just carbon fiber so they're sticking with the same locking mechanism but just change the scales and then the stage four has remained the same and you've got the the usual Knives there, Catch Cargo, Bradley Fold, and the uh, Vol Voloton sub hilt. Value folders, nothing's changed there. The Sabo folder, that's new. You've got the Chaparral and the Titanium one with the stepped titanium, so they're really pushing the Chaparral. It's kind of like a, a smaller but more expensive, like Sage, I, I believe. This is important because they've got the Southern folder in the black DLC now, uh, which is excellent. Line spine, nothing's changed. Uh, and then you've got a few new knives here. You've got the Domino, which features on the front page. So they're really pushing this with the, with the Dominoes there. And uh, this is essentially a bit more of an aggressive looking um, Sage. But, you know, there's, there's more of a point instead of the leaf blade. Uh, it's got really nice CTS XHP steel um, and it's got black cubic check carbon fiber uh, G10 laminate. So it's not full carbon fiber, it's just carbon fiber laminate onto G10 and then the reverse is uh, titanium and it's a flipper. So that's that's really nice. They've got the Carahawk 2, uh, not 2, Carahawk and the Battle Station which is quite a funky looking knife. Uh, a lot of things going on. At first I thought that was like a mini bug coming out of there but I don't think it is. This is an important page. So you've got a couple of good pages that, that have new things on. Uh, you've got the uh, double bevel, which is an interesting tanto shaped kind of knife. Uh, and that's got the G10 with the VG10 steel. You've got the rock, spelled R-O-C. It looks a little bit like a mini, uh, mini uh, hatchet kind of thing. You've got the Kiwi 4. So finally, they're, they're reduced, they're, they've introduced a new Kiwi, and I probably will get this. It's nice. It's it's an upscale, an updated version. It's got VG10 steel, so much better than the ACR13MOV, and it's got uh, texture G10 um, scales, and it's locking as well. Uh, so that is excellent. I just want to double check that it's locking. It looks like it is locking. Yes, it says here, sturdy backlock mechanism. So locking, better steel, G10 handle scales, sold. That's how you do it, Spyderco. Uh, you've got this Firefly, not a big fan. This is good though, the Tatanka, looks brilliant. It's hard use folder with VG10 
And look at that blade shape. I love that kind of, uh, what do they call it? It's a stout sabre grind, ground, VG10, with a pronounced swedge for an accurate po uh, point. And four position pocket clip, uh, G10, sold. I really like this knife as well, this Mike Draper folder. Uh, I'm a bit concerned of how your uh, index finger fits into this little area here, but I think that's a good looking knife. Um, I like this bit here, uh, part of the handle, and I like this swoop up and then to the point. I like that. Ethnic series, there's only new a new knife there. Uh, which is the Hungarian folder. Clip tools, they're calling them now. So you've got like a little bug, uh, which has also got like a little serration blade on there, or a bottle opener, or a pair of scissors. So that's cool. They're trying to get into the kind of mini pocket tool, trying to get a bit of uh, Victorinox's um, uh, market share there, which is good. Got the man bug, nothing's changed there. Ladybug, nothing's changed. They've got the, the tattoo. Uh, the slip joints for the uh, European kind of markets, including us in the UK. Uh, there's one change, and it's essentially if you've got a UK PK and you've got a Pingo. They had a baby, you get the Spy DK, which is right there. It's got a very small hole, so you're not really meant to open it one handed, but I reckon because the blade is, there's more of it for your thumb, I think you can just put pressure on it and pull it out anyway. Uh, and it's got, it looks like it's a similar or same kind of size shape of handle as the UK PK. That looks very nice. It's uh, it's Denmark friendly, but it's got more of a leaf blade shape. And um, it's got the FRN handle scales and the pocket clip, the wire pocket clip. Uh, and it's got ups and it's got the same steel. So it's got the N690 CO blade steel, uh, which is of course superior to the CTS BD1. So actually that's gonna be quite a good replacement for your normal UK PK. Uh, the next step, hopefully, is they make the hole a little bit bigger, but here's hoping. Got a restricted item there, so I don't even go there, that's that's not, nothing new. Nothing new with the Salt series. Uh, got the Whale, um, nothing new there. And the Sprint Runs. Uh, I don't know, it seems a little bit lazy. Uh, I don't really like to call Spyderco lazy at all. They've got their reasons, but I think they've done this because... Uh, I think there is some kind of market for uh, Ayagami um, Super Blue Steel, Super Blue Blade Steel. So what they've done is they've just put this steel onto existing designs such as the Ladybug 3, the Man Bug, uh, the Dragonfly 2, the Stretch. And then the, a new, I say new design, it's just their first ever uh, model that they brought out called the Worker. It's got VG10 Blade Steel, green G10 handle sold. These I'm not too sure. Uh, my Super Blue uh, has done very well so far in over a year of it being in, in a drawer. Hasn't really rusted at all. Um, so yeah that's it's going to be interesting who the market is because they're, they're looking at this rough and ready kind of good texture workhorse kind of FRN lightweight keep in your pocket use all the time design but they're putting the steel that is obviously a very very decent steel very sharp holds its edge a long time but is a little bit touch and go with the old rust and corrosion so i don't know whether well they know they know their stuff i shouldn't question but anyway that's that's the sprint runs you don't get any any incredible uh super blue g10 or or the um, Wayne Goddard or anything like that this year. Well, you might later on in the year, who knows? Subject to change, isn't it? You've got the sh all the fixed blade knives. Uh, of course, I love the street Bowie still, Bowie, uh, or Bowie, whatever you want to call it. Um, nothing's changed there. 
the only new kind of knife that they have is I think they have the enough in H1 somewhere. I think it's probably in the H1 um, blades, but they have this uh, knife called the Serrata, which is uh, it's, it's kind of like a bit of a bushcraft knife, but it's 440C, um, so and it's got a the, the sheath as normal. And that's it. That's uh, that's all it is for the for the Spyderco knives. And then you've got all the, the sharpened stones and things like that uh, as normal. Uh, they say that the bandana's new, but uh, and then you got the the bird knives here. Uh, I think I saw they're all the they're all the, the you still can get the Karakara two, which I still believe is the blueprint for the um, Endura five. And the Meadowlark 2, you can still get that. The newest knife that they've got here, though, is the Finch 2. You've got G10 handle scales and uh, your normal um, blade steel, HCR 13 MOV. Mm, it's got the back lock. I think it's just a, a small, one of their smallest um, bird knives. And then you've got the Hawkbill kind of blade, blade shapes. And there you go, that's the whole catalogue. So, um, some nice products in there. Uh, there are definitely some must buys. I'm looking forward to when they release them over here in the UK. Uh, if you haven't already got one, like I said at the start, um, go on spiderco.com, get one, or even just download the PDF. And So that's my kind of overview of this book. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that, put them in the, in the Twitter, Facebook. Um, but I will be leaving uh, comments open for this video because I think it's it's very important uh, uh, but obviously I won't won't be able to reply to them so if you want to send me a message do it through the, the YouTube uh, messaging thing anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you found it quite useful uh, I hope you've enjoyed some of the like kind of previews of the knives coming out if you haven't if you don't know about this book or didn't know it was out uh, thanks very much for joining me today take care